Good afternoon and welcome to Dirty Search Care. Today we will be talking about repair of hernias without mesh. As we all know, we now see a lot of advertisement on TV talking about complications of mesh in hernia repair. It's time for us to address some of the questions that I often get. One of the first questions that I get very often is how do people develop hernias or how do people get hernias? This is a very loaded question. Uh, reason being that it is possible to have hernias without doing anything. Uh, one of the most common risk factors for hernia formation is the genetics. Uh, some of us are blessed with genetics that makes us more likely to develop hernias. And you see this very often when you see a patient and say, oh, my dad had a hernia, my grandfather had a hernia. Uh, once one or two parents have a hernia, uh, the risk of developing a hernia becomes double. Um, other risk factors are the kind of exercises that we perform, strenuous exercises, heavy lifting, weight lifters tend to develop hernias. Also, smoking, as well as being overweight makes us at risk of developing a hernia. How does a hernia present itself or what are the symptoms of a hernia? Well, hernia commonly presents with a bulge. Uh, it could be around the belly button, it could be around the groin, it could be anywhere around the abdominal wall. Um, associated with this bulge is, is discomfort uh, and pain, which usually present when we cough or when we bend down or when we you know, uh, lift something heavy. On the far end of the spectrum of symptoms are evidence of complications such as nausea, vomiting, inability to have a bowel movement and pain that does not go away uh, with regular measures. This is considered to be an emergency situation that requires immediate attention from a doctor. What are the treatment options available for hernias? Now, it's important to distinguish what we call a simple hernia, a small simple hernia that doesn't have any symptoms to a complicated hernia. Now, on one hand, if your hernia is small and doesn't cause you any problem, I would strongly advise you to speak to a surgeon, but at the same time, it is possible that a surgeon will recommend that you don't do anything. However, if your hernia bothers you once a week or more often, it becomes an important decision to discuss with a surgeon. And the options available range from laparoscopic to incision-based hernia repair. Now, if your hernia bothers you to such an extent that you cannot function, or the pain is so severe that it doesn't go away, or you're having nausea, vomiting, able to have bowel movement, it is important to present emergently to a doctor's office to have urgent repair. Repairing a hernia can be using a mesh or without a mesh. And today we're going to spend a little bit more time discussing how a hernia can be fixed without a mesh. Now, a non-mesh hernia repair has been around for more than 100 years. It just happens that with the new onset of mesh in industry, we're seeing more and more doctors using mesh exclusively without offering patients the ability to say no to mesh. I'm glad to say, and I'm proud to say that my training, my experience allows me to offer my patients a non-mesh repair, which has significant advantages. In order to understand the disadvantage of a mesh, let me talk to you about what are the possible complications that we can see with a mesh repair. One commonly is mesh rejection. Mesh are made up of foreign materials and our body can reject it simply because we're not comfortable with it. This can result in significant discomfort and distress such as need for another operation to remove the mesh, infections, loss of skin tissue as well as other tissue around the area requiring skin grafting. 
mesh infection is another very common complication that happens to up to 12%. And more commonly, up to 20% of people will develop chronic pain that doesn't go away even with mesh removal. Hence, there's a very good reason for us to have a candid conversation with our patients about the risk of having a mesh. Now, a non-mesh repair, which is repairing a hernia without a mesh, excludes all of the complications associated with mesh repair. And I'm glad to say that we offer this to our patients and we have a very, very good track record with this procedure.